Hello, and welcome to tonight's episode of DOTV Podcast presents Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Woo woo! This is also our first uh, stream as a Twitch affiliate, so thank you everyone who's followed and given us support along the way thus far. We appreciate you. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. So without, without, without further ado, uh, let's get into the game because I know, I know David's eager to get started. So let's get going. David, why don't you, why don't you, uh, begin? When we last left off, the party had encountered a drow who has sparked up a deal with them. They're to rescue a drow friend of his, possibly assassinate another drow, and be shown the location of the drow's the other the second drow's treasure and how to get down the next level in underbound they're currently on level 10 and hanging out with drow that being said they just cleared this room of the combatants in it and are ready to move on to the next section that being said what are you guys doing I would like to go up to the fireplace here and investigate it and investigate up above, make sure there's nothing hidden. <laughs> if I could. Oh. The fireplace does its familiar, goes up 60 feet, and then stops. Okay, it goes up and then stops. Okay, I guess there's nothing up there. Okay, so we have the door up to the north and then a door to the south. Do we know which way we should go? You're following the the one drown. They're not moving. They're not moving. These guys. Are you ready to move on? Yeah, I think so. Um, there's nothing on these guys, right? Definitely search the bodies. You're gonna search bodies? Yes. Good call. told you at the beginning of the campaign keep searching bodies because most of them don't have anything but some of them do you find a ornate scarab engraved with the insignia of the draw house here which i'm not going to try to pronounce because i'm very wide worth 25 gold And a platinum inlaid helm of black metal molded in the likeness of a spider worth 750 gold. That's cool looking. Spider. Should I leave the dead bodies here for you later, Lewis? Uh, no, we're good. I thought for sure you were going to be making spider. Oh, mountains. spider mounts. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yeah, spider mounts. Yeah, our spider mounts. Yes. The other ones, no. And I have two of them. Okay, I'll go ahead and do those real quick. Boom, spider mounts.
I am doing a homebrew for this campaign, Animate Beast. Same as Animate Dead, except for a few levels higher, and it's just for beasts. And how many of these are you animating? Uh, the two I get with the fifth level spell. This is going to make you laugh. Post undead brawls. That's tough. An extra 10 hit points. Keep, uh, read the and four, fourth, fourth and fifth word of the second sentence. That's a really weird wording on it. So what wizard level are you? Level 10. And 4 proficiency bonus. So it's plus 4 to damage. We're just gonna have to remember the plus four to damage because I don't want to fucking get spider tokens like I fucked up a different token already. I'm assuming you're gonna drag the other two into the corner to come back for later. Yeah, just in case I need them. Wish they may get a little upset that I'm driving around on a on their. Dead spiders. Dead spiders. It might kill them. Re kill them. Your draw escort goes, You really. <sighs> You're going to cause problems. I don't like walking around this much. I mean, I have small legs. I don't have long legs like you. So this guy, this way, you know, if they have eight long legs, and they can, you know, um, take me where I want to go. There you go, Lewis. You have control over giant spiders. Are we ready to go? Yes. And with that, he opens the door to the north. Proceeds through it and hangs a right.
like you guys come in or what? Yeah, I was grabbing too many people. I'm coming. Screams coming from the other side of the door. Is that your friend? This is where he's being held. I assume I should move out of your way and let you guys do your thing. Yes, it would be uh, beneficial for you. You might open the door for us. Uh, the king can open it. The king opens the door. Question, do you have any intention of not engaging in combat in this room? Um... I mean, adventuring I mean, parties are weird. Sometimes you guys are like, we're going to kick in the door and kill everything we see. And other times you're like, let's go in and negotiate. Well, we're supposed to be talking. I mean, I mean, we're supposed to be rescuing this guy. So, I mean, I'm sure they're going to be attacking us right away. Especially when they see undead people opening the door. Fair enough. So you're going to open the door. Yep. And then I'm gonna go, hey Lucy, <laughs> we're home. Opening the door, you reveal to yourselves. A room that was once used as a kitchen. It's a 20 foot high ceiling. And it's mostly cleaned out of kitchen supplies. You see tied to a chair, a drow, a, a singular drow, and a closet, torturing him, zapping him with the ray of frost cantrip, and the closet is scaring him. Which point, he turns around and goes, who are you? What are we're being attacked by undead. Roll initiative, because all they see is an undead horde coming at them. <laughs> see, we don't have to do anything. Chelsea got a 17. Yeah, you got a 19. 20 for Horus. And with, and with that, horse goes first. Short bow at the closet. He's like, I'm going to take out the closet first. 27, 27 points. points. 27 points is going to kill the closet. Yay, no more frostbolt androps. No, um, the closet was doing the scare. The drow was doing the frostbolt or frosty frosty. Oops. That's all right. Closet seems like an early take. It's an easy kill. It gets it out of the action economy. And he isn't going to be so scared anymore. 
Anything else? Um, I am going to move into the room. And that is my turn. Nifty. I guess you guys don't want to talk. It's fine. Talking is overrated. I don't think talking, you know, I mean, talking, you know, it just, you don't do that very often. I mean, you know. Yeah, you should always text instead. Um, casting, uh, da, 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 da. Chromatic Orb at second level. What the hell? You have cast that forever. Forgot you I know. That. Targeting who? Uh, targeting yeah, the one that's frost frosting, and that's going to be acid. So 15 points to him. Yeah, bad roll. Well, bad roll one. Oh, yeah. Pretty bad roll. Damage, damage noted. And protect the party. Because I don't want to say attack the drow because there's a <laughs> multiple drow. Yeah, you have a bunch of drow friends. A drow moves out. And cast darkness. I still haven't found a good way to do this. So I'll do it like this. totally dark for everybody else too the red circle is darkness okay you cannot see well i mean i to me it's all black so yeah i can't see anything anyway i mean it's all black you can't see anything oh because your dumb ass is inside the wall oh that's why okay 
You put yourself inside the wall on accident. Hmm. Still see nothing. As I turn the lights off. Yeah, I'm about to move right through there. Yeah, but you can't see through there. Okay. Now it's Chelsea's go. Alright. Well. Chelsea is not completely... Uh... Not used to being in the dark. So she's just going to kind of rush forward. I need a good dark scoping. Ow! I hit a wall! Like, oh, totally, my god. Like. Okay, and now I'm trying to move out of the darkness. So then I'll move up to that draw. Like, what the heck, man? Why are you turning out the lights? Here, I'll return the favor. And I'll swing my maw. Like, totally. 18. Uh, for 14 bludgeoning. 18 does hit. And then she'll swing again. Ooh, 17. 17 misses. Yeah, fair enough. Gee, I wonder what his AC is. 248. Okay, well that's uh, Chelsea. Yeah, that's going to be it for Chelsea. She could read, she could read. but I'm not going to. Actually, yes, I will. I have all my rages. I'm going to rage. Why not? And the lights come back on. Alright, that's it for Chelsea then. You just hit Gilgos. Gelgos shouldn't have been turning out the lights. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it for Chelsea. He is going to cast a spell. Give me a second. I'm trying to fix my roll twenty. Let's see what I have. As oh, no. oh, no. inky black tentacles appear in that area. Okay, I should have looked at them. Okay. 
I know, it's a little surprising you let him do that. Well, I'm still trying to fight because my, no matter how many times I reload, I still total, total darkness. So I've been messing with that. I think he's going to move there. He's not going to help you at all. Mainly because he doesn't want to enter into the dark and the icky black tentacles. According to me, Lewis, you can see. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I've reloaded it, reloaded it, reloaded it. I'm just going to shut it all down and do it again. That drow is going to move there and attack Chelsea. AC 25. You're going to take four piercing and 10 points. AC 17. Okay, AC 17 will miss. Does that uh, have the damage reduction already? Yes. Okay, so four piercing. And 10 poison? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Is it working now, Liz? Yes. He's going to do nothing. Zombies. Yep, we're in the tentacles. What does that give us? Squirmy black ebony tentacles fills a 20 foot square on the ground you can see within range. For the duration of these tentacles, turn the ground into difficult terrain. When the creature enters the area effect for the first time on a turn or starts their turn there, the creature must succeed a dexterity saving throw. This is going to get really annoying for us. Okay, the king is going to go first. And he goes, say, thank you. Thank Dexter. you very much. Eleven. DC was eleven. Woo. Oh, a creature that starts its turn in the area and is already restrained by the tentacles. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. So you're good. You can move. Yeah. 
it is difficult terrain though. To get out. And he goes there and stops. How many thugs do I got? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You have three thugs in the in there. So the first one that you rolled for Which be the closest one. is going to be restrained and take 11. So pick one, that one takes 11. That's the first one. And is restrained. Oops, I did way too many. I did negative 11. He is restrained. He's going to take 11 more. <laughs> or he's going to get take 3d6 more at the start of the next turn. Okay, and then yeah. the other so one's made it. Sure. And then he goes into it, so he has to make one. He's got to make a deck save. He made it. Your spider's got to make the save too. He is restrained and takes 11. And so is the other one. Oh, they both are. If they are restrained, they can use their action to try to do a deck save or a strength save to break free. But that's on their next breath next thing because since they felt it this time no they can do it now oh okay it's at the start of their turn and they have to do it and then they get to do their turn as part of their turn they can make the deck saves deck or strength right? save to your choice if you're restrained you can do a strength save okay, so they one who has me is are you doing oh yeah you're doing strength so the one that's got you is freed right yeah oh, come on. and he can and he can move just complicates the crap out of their turn uh, now of course with everybody else there i can't go anywhere so he has to stay there but he is broken free, so take the webbing thing off of him so you remember. 
because the ones that are restrained automatically take the damage before they get to make a save. I am done. Okay. Horace, what are you doing? Horace is out of range of the tentacles, right? Correct. That he guy... Is he is a shove action away from having a bad day. Uh, this guy down here that's restrained, is he an enemy? I don't know why he's restrained. Okay. Is he an enemy, though? He is indeed an enemy. The only enemy inside the room, or the only non-enemy drow, is this one. All the other ones are enemies. All right. Well, Horace will move down. Oh, he's supposed to be restrained. I ended up restraining the wrong one. That's why. Rapier, rapier, rapier on the guy to my west. Okay. Roll it. That's going to hurt. AC 15 misses. Yeah, well, he doesn't have flanking. No. Okay, uh, so I did 22, 36, 43 points. Holy hell. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> He started this fight with as many hit points as Horus has for Max. And now Horus has more hit points than him. And that ends my turn. Nifty, make a deck save. Even if I'm on top of the spider? Yes. I'm afraid we were to say that. Black Tentacles is like one of my favorite spells, but it always sucks. Nifty, you are restrained and take 11. Now you can do your turn. Hey, this isn't that bad. It's already done 33. I am going to Chromatic Orb at second level again. Uh, the guy who cast the spell. Damn, damn, that sucks. Again, 17 damage. Oh, a 26 to hit. 26 hits, and he makes his concentration save. No, stop doing that! I'm surprised you didn't magic missile him. Well, I'm a... He's a spellcaster, and if he casts shield, then he blocks all of them only reason I have it, because that's what I was going to do first. Anything else? Is going to swing his short sword at Chelsea, hitting AC 15, which will miss, and AC 23, which will hit, 
So you're going to take four points of piercing and ten points of poison. Okay. Just because he has advantage. Entirely because of advantage and planking. He's only got advantage because of planking. Oh, I know. All right, Chelsea, it's your go. Uh, although I was pummeling the one south of me, the one that Horace dug into looks pretty beat up, so I'm going to turn my attention to him and take him to the mall. Or rather, the other way around. Damn it! That's a 12. I do think a 12 misses. 17. 17. Misses. He also misses. Okay. Are you done? No. I'm going to move to here. Which I should have done in the first place. Let him take his opportunity attack. He is going to crit with his opportunity attack. A double crit. I say this all the time, but I feel like it comes up way more often than the odds say it is. But the odds of a double crit is 1 in 400. Yeah. Yeah, it does come up. I mean... It does seem like it comes up way more than every 400 rolls. Yeah, I was watching a uh, another stream, and uh, they had two double crits in the same game the same night. Good two Lord. different people, but still. I had Ricky crit only five times in one session. In a row, by the way. So you're going to take, what is that? 15 divided by 2 is 7. You're going to take 7 piercing and 17 poison. By the way, note, he rolled three crits in a row there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fortunately, the third one doesn't count. Are you done? Yeah. Can I ask you a completely random question? Sure. Why didn't you attack recklessly? You were already being blank. They already had advantage. Because I forgot about attacking recklessly. Oh, okay. That makes sense. He's going to move over there. For the sole purpose of fucking up Nippy. and cast Witch Bolt at Horus, hitting AC 19. That does hit. You're gonna take 10. Oh, excuse me, Witch Bolt's concentration. He does not do that. Yes, he does. Damage noted, then removed. Different plan. He's going to cast Lightning Bolt before he moves. Oh, you asshole. And no, he's so not. So he's going to be right here and cast Lightning Bolt straight ahead. No, he's not. Fourth level. Post it. I am. I have to go and do it. So he's going to cast a third level counter spell, not realizing that you upcast your counter spell. 
because you didn't have to. Well, I did because I didn't have a third level spell. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So his DC to overcome your counter spell is 14. And he gets an 18. Okay. Everybody in that line needs to make a deck save. Fourteen for the king. DC is fourteen. <laughs> Fifteen for the first thug. Nineteen for Second thug, and then both spiders, right? Yep, both spiders. 19. Ah, oh, damn it. And the, the spider in the back takes 25. Everybody else takes 12. The spider in the back takes 25. And makes an undead fortitude check. <laughs> yeah, thought so. That sucks. I killed the spider fucking immediately and I wasn't even trying. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's fine. There's two more. And then everybody was like, Everybody else takes 12, you said? Everybody else takes 12. And then he's going to move to there. Which I believe breaks the line as I don't nifty. That's why I picked that spot. It is. Forget this guy. I'm waiting on that one. I forgot about it, sorry. He's gonna continue to do nothing, having no way around the icky blackness. He's going to attack Horus, hitting AC 27. Definitely hits. For 10 piercing and 20 poison. No save on the poison? Nope. 10 and 20? What the hell just happened? I don't know. All I did was I tried to turn off their... Uh their nameplates because it was taking over everything. And they grew.
Not only did they grow, but all the damage came off of them. Yeah, I believe he had taken 11, he took the 12, he took the 12. Weird. And with his second swing, he's going to hit AC 12 and miss horse. And then he's going to move back. He's going to be successfully tied to a chair. He's going to continue to not have a plan to get through the icky black tentacles. Starting with the king. First one and a uh, eighteen for the second. Eighteen hits. Twenty-six damage. And it's AC twenty-two for the second one. He always attacks right closely. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. Damage noted. Uh, the first dog uh, will hit once, once for nine. This guy down here? Yeah. Now... Uh, he is going to parry that and add three to his AC, bringing it up to 21. So he's going to miss. Okay. Uh... I always forget he has a reaction. Left, left zombie thug. Fail. He is restrained. Left zombie thug is fine. And takes 10. He did not die. I I know, he's at 15. I added a decimal at the end of it. I saw it. So he can use his action to break the restraint so he doesn't end up dead next round. Okay, so he's good to move out of there. Just can be able to go because he was still inside. He's fine. So which one are you doing now? Oh, he's got to make a save too. Oh, he did. He rolled the 19. Wait, the. He got the 17. Whatever, yeah, whatever it was, he, yeah, he made his. Now this guy is going to take 10 before he gets to do anything. He's going to try to break free. And, and does. Free. And makes it to there. Spider is fine. Spider has to make the save too. Oh, because he started, that's right.
Yes. There we go. And the spider. But Nifty's still in there as the black tentacles are hanging on to you. Oh, so I can't. So you, it pulled me off of him. Yes. That's him. That's done. Yeah, that's everybody. So you ready for Horace? Horace, it's your go. Uh huh. Uh, looking north, does it look like Horace could sneak past those tentacles? Uh, possibly if you make a deck save. All right, he's going to go up there and do that. You know, we still have three guys down there. Horace has that cowardly flaw that he runs away when he's at a quarter hit points, and he's there. Yep, and then some. Yep. Dex save. All right, and he's going to go a bit further. He's going up to read. Get your ass back here, you little chicken. Aww. And that's his turn. You did count the tentacles as difficult terrain? Oh, yeah, that would put me back to... Missed that. Alright, I'm done. Nifty, you're going to take some damage. Yeah, bite me. Exactly. You're going to take eight. You know what's a really good spell for a necromancer is cloud kill because it does poison damage and all your zombies are going to be poisoned. That's okay, and then I am going to fire bolts. This douche. Why did it not do it? There we go. Fire bolts. That douche. 18 for the mage dude. He's gonna take two. Oh, there's my other one. <laughs> Anything else? No. He is going to attack this zombie right here. And hit AC 23. Hit and hit. Twenty-three. Only three points of piercing. No poison because there's a new in the poison. Check. 
and Chelsea Sco as your fighter tanker friend took off running like a little bitch. Yeah, so now Chelsea's mad and she's going to attack recklessly on the one in front of her. That's a 31 crit for 35 uh, bludgeoning damage. Killing him. And then this one here, is this another baddie? Yeah, he's a baddie, yes. and this one here over here with the time clock on him is a baddie. You know what? The one that's concentrating, I think I want to give him something else to concentrate on. So Chelsea's going to come down there and recklessly attack him as well. Well, I think all my attacks are reckless this round. 26 for 15 damage. It doesn't matter if he makes the save or not, he dies. And then Chelsea turns and stares at the other one. It's like, all right, come at me, bro. Of course the asshole still had to make his save even though he died. Just rub it in. This would be like the only time I wish Chelsea had multi-class to fight her so that she could action surge and then do uh, this new thing she has, her intimidating presence. But it's an action to do that. You can always act, take two levels of fighter for action. So action surge is like one of the top fucking four abilities in the game. Yep, and I don't use it often enough. I would use it on the first round of every combat because you get it back on a short rest, so fuck it, use it. Well, I think that's it for Chelsea this round. Or actually, uh, she will move. Since she still has movement, she'll get right up in dude's face so that uh, Melgar has uh, advantage. Well, I mean, he's he's reckless. It doesn't. She's there. Yeah. I'm done. Zombies, time to kill thief. The king. Uh, 16. Miss. And a 10. Son of a bitch. Also miss. Alright, uh... That guy there. Well, oh, he misses. Nineteen for eight. Hey, Twenty-two. Seventeen. Misses. Actually going to go into that square, attack, and then back up. Okay. 20 for 7. We did not kill Thief. I know, that's a little surprising. I remember one game I had a character jump over to a ledge to attack somebody with no plan of where to land if I didn't kill the person. <laughs> nope. Well, actually, he would be, he would have advantage. So a 22 to hit. <laughs> That's going to hit. For 11. 
Well, thirteen if he gets if he gets thirteen. He made a save, so he only takes half of two. Horace, what are you doing? He, um, he's going to run down here to this corner. And he's going to stealth. Are you going to second wind so you heal yourself a little? What kind of action is that? A full round or a bonus action or what? Is that second wind? Yeah, yeah, just post second wind. I agree. I think it's a bonus action. Yeah, it's not letting me post it. All right, he does that. How many? Um, A D10 plus your fighter level? Yeah, I found it. Hang on. Yeah, it's a bonus action. D10 plus fighter level. Three, lovely. Oh, wait, three plus 10, 13. Three, three plus no, three. Level. Three plus three. So for your you moved, your action was to hide, and your bonus action was the second one. Yeah, I guess that leaves me done. I feel a little better, but not enough to come back. Nifty, what are you doing? <laughs> you guys really shouldn't have done that. But, you know, what this room needs, this room needs more cowbell. Whoops, dang it, wrong thing. There we go. DC 17 or for 11 necrotic. He takes his eleven. Anything else? At which point he says, I surrender. And drops his weapon and puts his hand back. I mean, dude's got one hit point, man. What do you want me to do? And he's surrounded. Well, it's Chelsea's turn, right? Yeah. And Chelsea is raging recklessly. <laughs> So she's gonna smack him. 
but she's not gonna kill him, she's gonna knock him out. Let's see how good, okay. You're gonna choose to do non-lethal damage. Correct. Okay, so he's unconscious now. All right. Everybody's either dead or unconscious, except for your friend. Well, he may be unconscious too. I don't know, but uh, he can come on in. It's safe. Am I hearing that? They yell down the hallway to you. You can come back. It's safe now. And yeah, you can come back, coward. Coward, the duck. What the heck, running off? A single feather. Hey, you ought to know me by now. Yeah, and you ought to know that we got this shit handled. Shit handles? What? They're all dead or knocked out. He's a bit salty because you called him a coward. Anyways, yeah, here's your friend. He goes over and on actually not really unties him because he's tied up with spider webs. So he goes over and starts ripping away at the spider webs to free him. Are you guys gonna take a short rest by the way? Oh, I would really like to. Okay. After I take a look at the mage and see what he has. Oh. In searching the bodies, you find three engraved signet sca scarabs with the engra engraved insignia for the drow, much like the ones that you found earlier. They are worth 25 of these. And a leather bound skull. I like leather bound spell books. Those are cool. That being said, he frees his friend. And tells the other one, the other two, there, that the next part of the mission is too dangerous for them to proceed with him and to meet him back at their quarters. So, this guy down here tells the other guys? No, this guy here tells the freed friend and him that the next part of the mission to assassinate the drow high priestess is too dangerous for them and to meet him back at his quarters. So, they're going to wander off. You guys are going to take a short rest before he leads you to her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, and while we're taking a short rest, why don't we take a short break? Sounds good to me. All right, everyone. We'll be back in just a few minutes. After these messages, we'll be right back.
Okay, we are back. Everyone's here. We are taking, we're finishing up a short rest. And yeah. Damn, I just get to keep on getting screwed. On four rolls, I rolled two twos or two ones. That sucks. Man. I'm not doing much better. That's it for Chelsea. Plus 25. So in Rookie's game with Robert, he's letting me make one zombie. Yeah. But he's going to let it be a PC. So I'll basically be playing two characters. I was thinking about doing a fighter barbarian tank. Because it seems like that party is lacking a tank. Yeah, we'll have uh, tanky type stuff um, whenever he brings out his dragon, his little drake. But yeah, we do need we do need a uh, a, a real tank. Well, it's gonna be fifth or sixth level before I'm even there. Because with only getting one, I'm thinking about not taking the animate dead spell at fifth level and wait till I get it as a bonus at six. All right, horse is done. As you guys, because I'm awful at pronouncing the names, I do need to state this. As you guys reflect upon the next part of the mission, you realize that the Drow House is named after the High Priestess that you were going to go kill. No oh, crap. That's too dangerous for us, too. Throwing that out there because it's, you know, kind of important information. How close is the Drow Priestess? There are two ways to get there. You can actually take the direct route through a heavily drow occupied area or we could sneak through the caverns I am not sure 
how to describe the safety of the caverns as the drow don't go in there to clear them out. So we could face more hostility in the caverns than just taking a more direct uh, approach. A more direct approach? I mean, we barely made it past uh, three guys. Yeah, that's fair. Like, I can warn you that there are undead and troglodytes in the caverns. Well, then that, um, hmm. That should be all right, maybe. I don't know, what do you guys think? I can go. Of course he can oh, go. Can. <laughs> because he'll just run away. Horace is trying very hard to ignore these random comments. <laughs> I... Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. They're not random, they're stating facts. You ran away. I am magically tired. And if we're going to, I don't know, go, like, head on to a bunch of stuff, I'm really going to be tired after that. And then, oh, um, if we go Perhaps it would be best if you take, we take a night's rest before we take on the entirety of the house of the drow down here. Yeah, that, like, totally sounds like a plan to me. You got, um, like, uh, you know, rooms and stuff. You know, place where a girl can go lay her head. We can all sleep at my qu in my quarters. That seems like a little presumptuous. Sleep. How many beds are in your quarters? Would you quit? Analyzing the logistics of this. And if you want a hammock, I can make, um, I can have my friend here make uh, spider web hammocks. And you don't have to worry about falling out of bed at night. Yeah, I think I'll pass, thanks. <laughs> That's a good sleep. I'm going to have one of my zombies pushing me so back and forth so I get a really good sleep. And remember, we have an unconscious guy here, that if we leave him unconscious and leave him here, he's going to let them know we're coming. Exactly. We didn't tie him up yet. I thought somebody was going to tie him up. You're tying him up and he can break free. All right, so what do we do with them? And Chelsea looks over at the, the drove that's been kind of directing them. Zombie goes over there and bonk.
سر هم کرد Yeah, well, now that the zombie took care of our problem for us, are we ready to go sleep? Yeah, okay. So are we heading back to his place now to, to sleep? Yes. These two guys over here are joining us. As we both do the same thing at the same time. And we follow him back to his, uh, what's his? Okay. He takes you back to the, I'm not going to be moving up in the office. Yeah. Yeah. He takes you back to the room that you found him in. And you spend the night there. And now you do your long rest. The only party I've ever known that to, to take a short rest immediately after our long rest immediately after a short rest. Did you raise the other two spiders? Yes. Since we were going back, I went ahead and raised them. Okay, so the party now has three spider mounts. And you did hear me how I, how the one zombie killed the last drow that was in there. Say that again. The zombie, Doug, went up and took out the drow. drow. Yeah, he's dead. Shall we proceed? I am proceeded. Like, totally. If nobody else has taken a mount, he is. No, Chelsea will go on foot. As will Horace. But Horace, Horace you can climb the ceilings. He goes back to the first room that we started the session in.
Nifty, you can leave your zombies behind for a little bit. And I'll leave the other fighter that I'm not using right now back too. So is this the quick way or the... Um... This is the... We have to get to the fork in the road. We're going the only way till we get the, to the fork in the road. And then I will let you decide. Okay, so there's there's forks. Um, Are they silver forks? No, they are marble. Kevin Horus. No. Okay. Okay. Then he opens the door to the south when you guys went north. And proceeds through to this point in the hallway. At which point he goes up and opens the secret door in the wall. I'm going to light it up. Take it down here. No, it's right where he is. Oh, there's a secret door up there? Yeah, immediately next to Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah, it's like totally right here. I mean, I totally don't understand how you didn't see it before. Yeah, like, I totally knew it was here, like, the whole time. That's, like, why I'm standing here and stuff. Do we hear music? No. Upon opening the door, you enter into a 60 foot high, 20 foot wide stone shaft. He said he's aft. 
we're viewing. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. He proceeds forward and opens the next secret door. See, there's nothing about Shaft. I got the rooms backwards. He's one bad mother. Shut your door. Entering this room, it is filthy. The reek of trash overwhelms you as soon as the door opens. Like the, you. The floor, floor is strewn with gnawed bones, smashed furniture, and other refuge. Against the west wall, there's a pile of garbage and trash arranged in such a way that it looks like a chair or a throne. Ugh, this place is like so grody. Totes. From here, we must be quiet. When we exit this room, if you want to take the direct route and fight through the house of the drow, because David can't pronounce the name, so it's the house of the drow, then we will be heading west. If you want to sneak through the caverns, we have to sneak east and then south. What would you like to do? Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, like, I'm totally thinking, like, the caverns. Yeah, because undead like us. Well, you maybe. Marcus like us? Yeah, King Mylar puts his hands together in, in form of a heart. Okay, so the party is going to do a group sneak check. If I'm on the giant spider, does the spider do it? Or do no, I do this? Just the PC. So I need to click sneak? Yeah. Stealth then? Yeah, stealth. Not as good as usual. That's appropriate for Chelsea with a six. Well, looks like we're going the other way. As you exit the room, the party is spotted by a drow.
When nobody moved, he might not see us. Chelsea would have been up more up front because she was kind of keeping pace with the guy in front. Yeah, that's why we got caught. Yep, exactly. I'm big time talking with my 12. <laughs> but it's twice as much as yours. He merely gives you a look as you proceed past. Chelsea pretends like she doesn't, uh, like he doesn't see her. Give me a second. Mainly because Chelsea can't see him. Her uh, fi her vision doesn't go that far. Nifty knows that Drow have the same dark vision as he does. Yeah, I was. I thought about charming person on him, but it's. Oh, I'd have to get way too close. Plus, he's an elf. He'd have he'd advantage. Go to sleep, but he'd still be. Oh, well, yeah. You coming, Horace? Maybe. As you enter into this part of the hallway, you can smell the next room. It is foul. It is stinky. And the door is partially open. Door is partially open? Is that what you said? Yes. Horace peers in. You see troglodytes. And Nifty pairs Anthony. It's an ambush. No, Lewis. <laughs> I like Pierce Anthony. He's a good author. Or maybe you were bearing an hourglass. You definitely weren't sauce the rope. The troglodytes answer to the drow. Just follow my lead. Like, okay. He enters into the room and begins to speak to them in undercommon. Telling them that he, they are, you guys are with him and that you are just passing through. When he gets to the bottom of the to the southern entrance of the room, he says, "We have a bit of a problem. The caverns are small. The mount we are not going to be able to ride the mounts through." 
So, there is a rule for this in 5e. They can squeeze through there. It's all difficult terrain for them. And any attacks on them have uh, advantage, and any attacks they make have disadvantage. Yeah. So they can't actually fit. It's just going to suck if you end up in combat down there. I guess they can bring up the rear. I mean, they'll make a good wall if something comes from behind. That's what she said. So he dismounts and begins walking through the caverns. Chelsea will keep up with him. I'm going to draw a line on the map to follow the path that he does so you guys can just follow the line. I will wait for the line. And Horace will too. I do have a description of it, though. These natural tunnels, these naturally formed tunnels wind through collapsed rooms and hallways. The walls can composed of jagged stones the floor throughout is silty and wet. You exit the tunnel into a room. Which I would have been better prepared for had I not ran off to go get the horde. Crates stacked in the middle of this room contain... There are crates stacked in the middle of this room. about six of them. At which point he says, from this point forward, we may have to fight our way in. Do we have to be quiet as we fight? Is everybody where you want to be when he opens the store?
Is that your marching order, Lewis? <laughs> yeah. He has a whole party to himself. At which point he opens the door. Revealing to the party what appears to be a hospital. It contains two dozen wooden cots and rows resting, and six of them are wounded drow, three females and three males. So they are still clad in armor and they keep their weapons within arm's reach. Tending to the injuries seem to be, seem to be three priestess. How do they react when we open the door? They look at you and they say, well, one of them says, have you brought the wounded, the supplies we need? And in undercommon, I am like going, Yes, they are on the beasts of burden. Luckily, these spiders died recently, so they don't look like they're too worse for wear. But they do say, they do look at you in the group and go, and they look as if they are suspicious of you and they don't trust you. And he proceeds through the room to the next door. Chelsea will try to keep up with him. See if I would have thought that, uh, We were actually going to be fighting these guys. I went and said, yes, we brought the supplies. <laughs> May we have the supplies? Yep. Wait a second. We're, get, we're, we're gathering them. Did you, like, forget the supplies again? Oh, it's on... One of these. If it's not, it's not, it's not one of these guys. guys. As the zombies enter the room, their eyes get wide and they realize what's going on and they move to attack. Just move at a certain spot. Horace, what are you doing as they begin to pick up their weapons? 
I'm going to hit the one I'm right next to. You're going to hit an injured drow in a patient battle. Supplies! Okay, maybe not. Um, I didn't know that those were beds. Okay, well, okay, well they're they're they don't they look like this are be in beds. And they're wounded. And then the ones that look like that are the priestesses. Nurses. All right, then I will move and attack a priestess. The one laying in the bed makes this an attack of opportunity on you as you leave. Uh -huh, yeah, well, okay. You questioned it, and I believed you. I only questioned it because it seemed a little fucked up. <laughs> okay, they grabbed the weapon. Not anymore. Yep, until now. Until now. So, do I do 15 or 25? We're going to do the 15, because that's what you rolled in the attack. Well, for the first one, because you would have had, because of your road, you would have, you would have had thir uh, 23 for that one. You so that makes it... That 38. And for your second attack, you're going to do 15, right? Yeah. 23 and 15, yep. Killing that Drow Priestess. Shh. And that's my turn. He's going to fire his crossbow at that drow priestess. And her dumbass is going to make a con save. She makes her save. Her, the damage is noted. Oh, look, she gets to go. God, I can't believe I haven't put this in here yet. How do I not have a spiritual weapon going? You thought I would think you would have because you had a couple of priests. <laughs> yeah, spiritual weapon is up there, spell effects, and we fireball. Where do you want it? I'll take your sword.
spiritual weapon is going to miss. How do they not have a crossbow or anything fun like that? Actually, instead of spiritual weapon, she's just gonna cure wounds herself because she's not dead. This wounded drow is going to get out of his bed move up and attack the king. This is going to go about as well as you would expect. And he's going to hit AC8. Nifty a trigger. Holding up the... Is that where you want to put it? Well, it seems like it moved. Is, is, no, yeah, that's not missing. That's missing. If you move it back towards the left one square, you can grab two more people. That would be right. There we go. That misses spider. DC 15 or 22. This is going to be mildly amusing. Killing two drow and wounding another. With a loud roar and a mouth. What else? Protect the party.
Chelsea, it's your go. Okay. Is this a priestess here? Yes. Alright, then that's the one Chelsea's gonna go after. Mispronounced kill. Eh, potato, potato. Not raging. Not reckless. AC 20. Yeah, 21 for 10 bludgeoning. It's gonna hit. And it's killing. And then, do any of the other patients look like they're really about to pose a threat? They all look like they're about, they're grabbing weapons still. Okay. Well then, I still got ten feet. Don't you have this thing that you can move further when you rage or something? I'm thinking about it, but it seems yeah. almost like a waste to rage now. I kind of do. Yeah, no, Chelsea's, uh, Chelsea's just gonna move towards this guy, wait. It's not the pounce thing? It's something, like, when I rage, I can move, like, half my movement speed, but I don't want to rage just, you know, for these guys. I definitely yeah. understand. No, I totally agree. So I'm just going to move closer to that one and call it a turn. He's going to fire a crossbow and miss so badly you can't tell if he was aiming at Horace or Chelsea. He's going to fire a crossbow at Chelsea and hit AC-70. So he's going to miss. He's going to fire a crossbow at Horus and hit AC-24. It's... You're going to take 10. Make a con save. Did I? No, you failed. Ouch. You are poisoned. Ah, disadvantages, Sever. Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, which is really bad for you because you can't get sneak attack while you have disadvantage. Yep. Zombies. This guy attacks, so I'm attacking him. <laughs> and he crit him. The 13 between the plus 10 and the rage is enough to kill him. Yeah. And these other guys did attack party members, right? Yeah, they're firing crossbows at party members. He goes up there. Uh, 
17. AC 17 hits. Same him. First one does six damage. Uh, that was probably enough to hit. AC alone misses. And there we go. With the 19 and the 21, between the 7 and the 9, that guy's dead. Killing that drow. Anything else from your board? to hear that Lewis is done. Computer froze in done, it says on Discord. Oh, yeah, he's done. All right, Horace. All right, so where are the foes again? I think there's just there one right there, and that's it. Twenty-three. Thirteen piercing. That's going to be enough to kill him. And I whack him anyway.
Oh, well then. That wasn't, uh... That wasn't too tough. thinking is this probably a good place to end it for the night this is definitely a good place to end it for the night because all hell is going to break loose when you go in and here in about 40 feet sounds like fun but no time for tonight indeed all right well then with that i think we're going to uh go ahead and end this stream but don't leave because we are going to raid out and uh, lewis is not here to help me find who we are raiding out to this evening but you know what don't don't fret we will have someone so uh thank you so much for joining us once again thank you for all the follows thank you for subscribing thank you for all your support we love you have a wonderful night thanks for running david thanks for playing everybody see yous yep everybody have a good night <laughs>